Good morning, everyone. Um, yes, it's morning because it's way past midnight. Sorry, I'm cover I'll cover up this fan here. <laughs> so it's not an eyesore. Um, so it is March, and there is this crazy thing going around, and this whole COVID pandemic and stuff. And I just want everyone to know, as long as you stay hydrated, take the hygiene precautions, okay then just continue to spread joy love healing and kindness to each other and to yourself um a lot of people are taking time as well to just you know heal and go back to things with regards to catching up on reading shows and and um get some people like me you're catching up on video games and schoolwork but um i know there's a lot of things being shut down and us introverts are very happy about this but as well it is taking a damper on the routine so i just want everyone to know that we can rise above this fear and continue to radiate that hope light and wisdom that everybody um needs right now okay and to stay calm and grounded so i know it's been a while i'm sorry about that <clears throat> So, I call upon um, on my higher self and your higher self, your spirit guides and my spirit guides, ancestors, angels, archangels, galactic soul collective, our spirit animals, all for the highest good of all to come through and help me with the messages as well for everyone's highest good. So, everyone, um, there are four piles here. I'll just get into it. But before that, I just want to show you this Fire Opal here ring that I recently got. It was just really inexpensive, but I'm really drawn to crystals now. And it almost looks like glitter, but this Fire Opal, the meaning is, you know, about trust and loyalty. And it represents also magic, hope, happiness, as well as... Um, yeah magic hope and happiness and we could use a lot of that right now so and, and it's also very beautiful so i'm just gonna I'll wear this this is also a ring of empowerment and it kind of is um like a lot of some other crystals this can be used to also protect from danger and from harm and this is all about amplifying personal power so i think that's wonderful so i stumbled on it so um perfect timing Alright, so let's get into it. So for pile one, we have here the uh, Totoro, looks like a bubble tea. For pile two, we have on a little dish, we have the little cappuccino. I thought we'd do some nourishment, some drinks, okay? we all need to hydrate as well <laughs> during this time. And so spiritual nourishment and actual physical nourishment. And we have here... I think it's some kind of Totoro stew, which is uh, this animal and anim it's like this anime movie, um, really cute. There's little chiclets in there as well, <laughs> so it's really cute. And then the last one is this green tea brooch. Okay, so that's pile number one, pile number two, number three, and number four. So. Uh, without further ado, I'll get started. I'll also list the decks I use below and I'll also put my Instagram um, Link below if you want to follow me in my personal random journey where I put a lot of memes and I'm a little bit of a comedian as well <laughs> Just to kind of spread joy and, and hope and healing to everyone So you get to know me personally there as well and feel free to say hello as well And um, if you want some personal readings uh, feel free to email me as well and DM me. I'll give you some rates and whatnot. I used, um, yeah, I used several decks here that I recently received and got. So, um, spring is sprung upon us, so you'll see some new ones here. So, for we'll get started with pile number one. Sorry about this long intro, guys. this aside so pile number ones I hope you've been well um you got this Totoro bubble tea slash slushy in like a little plastic mug let's see what um your cards have for you I don't have the charms on me today it's in the other room so I'll just do cards for now wow this incense is really going towards me so 
Okay, so we have for your cards, we have the death card. This is the Shadowscapes. We have the Eight of Pentacles. It was reversed, but I usually don't read reversals, so we'll take a look what, what else you come up with. That's highlighted. We have Five of Swords. So reverse. I want a reversal here. Okay, and this one's reversed. We have the Devil in reverse. Or we'll just put it as highlighted, a little bit elevated here. You have the moon. Ten of Pentacles. Strength. And so this is your detailed um, March forecast, okay? And um, the the overall themes that you have are the Hierophant. This is the Good Tarot. So there's the Hierophant for you. And then, oh, it's a little bit glary. And then we have the King of Air. Now, for your guided action, you have the Fairies Oracle from by Brian Froud, which I think is very authentically um, Fae. So, there are ancient powerful creatures. Uh, you got Mick the, the Myomancer. So, that's your guided action for this month. Okay. So let me take a look at these cards first. So pile number one. So if we look at the general themes, okay, the Hierophant is about spiritual practice or having some kind of ritual. Five is also a number of change. So the overall theme here is about maybe creating some kind of um, getting in touch more with some kind of uh, spiritual practice to calm you down. Now, there's that thing going around, so perhaps you need something that's very grounding, like a spiritual teacher of sorts, to kind of elevate your thinking beyond what you see right now. This is also a calling to, you have here, this is the male version of the, the high priestess, right? So this is about a, a knowledge and a wisdom, and to trust in kind of like the higher forces and the divine spiritual teachings and learning about something new. Or perhaps teaching others something that you know um, during this time of March. Um, this is also about traditions as well. Um, traditions and rituals. Some kind of ceremony or rituals that you do. Even if it's self-care, that's a, a form of ritual, right? Just uh, there is like a, a need to kind of get in touch with your spirit and what what maybe your spirit or spirit guides are maybe trying to show you some signs you might also be interested in learning or teaching or reading up about something that's interesting to you during this time you might also have someone that comes into your life as a teacher or you might be like a teacher in someone else's life and then we have king of air so this is about getting into the truth of a situation. This is letting logic, um, cool, calm strategy and logic to take over beyond just passion. So this is about keeping, you know, a cool demeanor. This is a very intelligent sign as well. You could be either a, which is Hierophant here, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure if this is a Taurus. And this is kind of like um, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. Um, but yes, this is all about strategy. You see, I see he's wearing a mask as well. So like, um, I just thought of like keeping, keeping things close to your, to your heart, like not masking or showing like what your plans are. Just like not everyone has to know what your plans are with regards to your strategy here. And you might get some message or wisdom from someone that's an older male, um, energy. And then 
they might impart with you some spiritual wisdom and advice that's really going to help you in your life. You might also be this person that might be giving spiritual advice and, you know, turning to spiritual terms or looking up stuff in order to get your message across. Or this is about spiritual practice and, and really kind of like um, planning your life out so that you know, logic logic takes precedence to think with your head over your heart kind of thing because that might maybe this pile might be a little bit emotional as well. Um, to kind of get in touch again with spirit and universe and trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. And I will go in a sec like what the guided um guided action is from the Fey here that they're recommending with this meet the Mayomancer. But it's just like be. Th this is a lot of. This is a very much a thinking card, and thinking and then thinking about spiritual practices or things that have a mind body connection. So this could be exercise. This could be meditation. This could be just self care, taking better care of yourself than you have already. And let's take a look in detail for the month of March, um, and further. So there's the Death card here, followed by Eight of Pentacles and Five of Swords. The Devil, the Moon, Ten of Pentacles, and Strength. And I think the first four, the uh, three of these cards were upside down. So the death is, it could be the death of a, a new way of live. It could be the death of the old way of living, like... It could be re regarding what's going on right now with the, with with the illnesses going around. Um, it could be the fear pandemic, kind of like the that thinking. It might be sweeping and changing your old life, the death of an old life, and now this is a new chapter in your life. You could also be affected by what's going around, or someone close to you is, or um, you know, there might be needing to change a pattern in how you do things because. Uh, I know for a lot of societies, <clears throat> they've closed down a lot of things like schools, um, banks, they've closed down certain stores and, and like establishments. So it's affecting your life. So this could be, that's what the meaning of death is, is kind of like rebirthing yourself um, and adapting to whatever new circumstances and situations is going around. And you're birthing something new with regards to how you're going to live your life. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, too, is if you've been working really hard, juggling a lot of things, maybe working from home or um, getting a project done, like, you know, you, you're going to see, you're going to see the results of that. It just takes time. Like the spider, it builds a spider web with all these, like, glowing ideas here and all these connections around it. Like, we are never truly alone. That's like us and the spider. And if you're, let's say, you're quarantining yourself or, like, you're not feeling like, you know, like you're cared after or the, that you're interconnected with people. Your spirit guides and your angels are there for you and your higher self and your spirit animals, if you believe in that stuff, they're always there for you. They're constantly sending you signs and messages and ideas if we only paid attention and, you know, took the time in a little more quieter setting to finally like listen and to look around us. This is about patience and persistent paying off and a new way of doing things for the death card. <clears throat> we also have a five of swords. So when I think of five of swords as well, I think of there might be some conflict going around. You might have some inner or external conflict in your life and you're trying to sort out um, going between like it could just be little things as well. Like, for example, um. You don't know what to do, like just like small little indecisions about life. But there is a death card here, so perhaps like when you ha when you're forced to do something out of not your old routine, um, it might be very difficult for you to kind of adjust to that. Is what I'm getting here. And the Five of Swords is just saying like you know it's okay that you're conflicted with other people. They have different ideas than you. They have different priorities. It's just to behave with as much integrity as you can. Um, and to learn from that. To choose, I guess, you know, who you want to collaborate with, with regards to what it is you're doing. So, and also, we do have the devil card, so some people here might be a Scorpio. There might be some obsessions or attachments that are not good for you, um, 
and it's attached to the Five of Swords, so perhaps there is a need to as well get over any kind of conflict that you're feeling within yourself, some negative attachments or behaviors that you do as a coping mechanism as well in order to cope with maybe doing something in a new way because the old way no longer works or is feasible to kind of um, come to terms. I think this is like coming to terms, I find, with like toxic people that you don't, you kind of clash your thoughts, your ideas. But the most important thing that you should let go of some people as well, that's why the death card is there, is maybe you're working hard to maintain relationships that are not really flowing and um, for your best benefit. Like only one-sided, because this is all about like negative negativity and, and attachments and, and obsessions. Things that weigh us down, people that weigh us down. And this Five of Swords as well, it's just like conflict of interest, like, oh, but, you know, they're part of my family, or, oh, they're like, you know, it's, it's very difficult at times to detach yourself from people who might not be very good for you. Um, they may not always like the same things as you, but the most important part is the values. Do your values align with theirs? So that's the most important thing. Um, so that is something to ask yourself, whether or not it's worth maintaining a connection and working so hard if this is about a relationship or friendship or partnership, um, whether it's worth working hard to maintain when it's just bogging you down. So that's probably why it's calling some people in this pile to maybe have to end things with them or take a break and and, and reassess from there. Because it it is saying here for the guided action, um... I'll, do, I'll go into that later that's a whole new thing but okay let's continue so that's what i'm seeing for one aspect of you guys for some other aspects i think some of you guys as well are working hard to also either maintain a job get a job or something related to career and it could also be related to earth and home earthly matters as well like um getting a license getting um getting a uh, a raise, anything like that, anything that's like earthly matters. It could be about getting an, a physical object or obtaining something you want to buy but cannot receive. So there is the moon card here. So it, it is like things, some things are not meant for us to, to know in advance. And even us tarot readers, we cannot see always in advance. Like our, our gifts that we have can only bring us so much. Um, it's actually, you know, what the universe and the spirit guides and what our higher selves and angels and, you know, the universal collective wants us to see or hear or interpret that we can relay the message to you guys. The same goes for you guys as well. This could also be a paying attention to dreams. And if you take a, a closer look at here, um, the moon card, there's, she's, we're holding a mask. So it's like revealing your true self and maybe paying attention to anybody who is negative or anybody who is maybe deceiving you about something and causing some kind of conflict in your life. Um, and it's kind of like calling you to be the phoenix that rises out of the ashes here. To do what's best for you and pay attention to your dreams and your intuition. This pile might also be water signs as well. But I do see... Um, I do see earth and air highlighted here. Earthly, earth mainly. And a Capricorn. The moon, um, I forgot all the astrological references to the cards, but I think the moon might be, is it, uh, Cancer, maybe? No, no, it's not Cancer. I think it's Pisces. Is it Pisces? I'm second guessing myself, guys. Pisces, Cancer, uh, I think it's Pisces, um, or, I think Aquarius is Temperance, so, yeah, I think it might be a Pisces, or some kind of water sign, Cancer, um, Maybe Aquarius, but usually the stone prints. Yeah, this is about moon, magic, deception, things being hidden. And maybe paying attention to your dreams for signs. And we have here Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like it's a, for some of you guys who it's about the earthly matters and earthly realms and stuff like that. It could be a job. It could be about obtaining, like, getting that toilet paper. <laughs> you know, you get my drift. Um, something physical. That there will be a Ten of Pentacles moment where you have... You know, making use of your resources. This is about abundance, being contented with what you have. This dragon here is like almost eating up the sun or part of the sun and the moon. So what was once hidden is going to come to light. And you will receive some form of abundance with regards to friendship, help, 
time, someone's efforts, um, maybe a physical gift as well that you want or need. Um, the universe will send you out people and circumstances for you to obtain and feel content and abundant with what you have. You might also be learning to be very resourceful with what you have as well. And then lastly, and not least, if whatever you're going through, if it's a difficult time and you're conflicted with yourself and a lot of things are hidden from you at this time, know that you have the strength card here, which you could also be a Leo. Yeah, you might also be a Leo here. Because the death card is like the phoenix rising out of the ashes to me. So the end is of something old, an old chapter in your life, and the beginning of some new chapter. And this strength card as well, it, if you can see, like, this is pretty majestic as heck. Um, majestic AF. Uh, I do see as well, like, with me, I lit my incense, and there's an incense here with the birds. So you might be receiving messages of some sort. Messages that will bring you a lot of strength and comfort. And it will really help you step up into your power to thrust you forward, like this ball goes forward, into the ether, into your future, into into moving forward into the new this new chapter in your life and i keep looking here at the death card so i feel strongly that with a little bit of hard work patience persistence being able to act honorably despite any inner or outer conflict with others or yourself things that are hidden will be revealed you do have the resources you need already so just look twice around you and look at the people um, in a way that is not going to be taking advantage of the people around you or um, like not don't, I got don't hoard as well <laughs> oh gosh this is very much strongly linked to what's going on at this time but if you aren't here uh, in March and you were watching this then it could be something else okay but that's what I'm oh my gosh I'm so sorry guys I think I pile ones I think I accidentally um ended the video by accident sorry about that um but yes i was talking about the death card and i feel like this is very much linked that the end of something new for a new chapter to begin in your life must occur and i think it is to make sure you untangle yourself from any very negative attachments people and habits that might have come second nature to you and that you're comfortable with that it might take a lot of effort and persistence and patience and work for you to kind of um if you're not used to being on your own to to weave your magic of what you, reality and dream you want to come true for yourself and not because of other people and to not let what other people think kind of like dictate what you're going to do to make sure that what you do is based on your values and what you think is good and healthy for you so you already know deep down inside if something you're doing is not healthy for you okay and like this leo sign here leo sign because of strength this is like the bad things in life or anything that is kind of scary is i think of the lion something that a lot of people find is scary this lady is just opening or this non yeah this lady has a boob <laughs> this woman is opening that lion's mouth so she is really brave and fearless and this is a reminder to you guys Okay, this you might also get a message as well from spirit, from people around you, from your inner higher self, that you are much stronger than you think you are. That gentleness and compassion can charm even the most like hardest of hearts and also the most difficult of situations. So this might be about I feel also like acting with um like honey, like honey attracts the bees kind of thing to get what you want but in a way that is not taking advantage of people. Okay, it is about being your highest best self, being kind and compassionate, and perhaps people do find you charming, but that can be a strength as well. Like kindness can be a strength, it is not a weakness, especially during this time of crisis. So, yes, there is some you, there's a part of you that's being reborn right now. It could be physical, it could be spiritual, it is most likely spiritual, you might be awakened as well. Um, if you've already looked at this tarot YouTube, that's already a sign and a step that you're open to that. To listen to the calling of your soul. And now, with regards to um, make the Myomancer. So, make the Myomancer is actually a fae that is like a guardian of these field mice. If you look closely, you'll see that the leaves have all these 
the mice there, little mice all over the place, their eyes are kind of peeking out. So it is asking you as well, um, Mike is asking you as well, because he looks at the details by studying these field mice, right? They're much more interesting. So there's a lot of things I see that I feel is kind of going on. I read the meaning of the cards here. It's a beautiful book, by the way. This hardcover book by Brian Froud. I feel it very much strongly, authentically represents what that realm is. Um, so he actually takes a look at the details of the mice and this field mice. You see the notice, you notice some great truths in the little details. So perhaps this is a calling for you to focus on the little details in your life and kind of like noticing and stop to smell the roses or inspect things around you like he is inspecting the field mice for any signs from the universe and those um you know in the spirit realm that have the your highest good um and your interest at heart that they're sending you messages as well um with regards to what steps to take if you don't know what steps to take about listening to your inner voice or getting a sudden thought or an idea um, in your mind while you're doing the dishes or something, something like that, to stop and smell the roses, to stop and maybe you're so busy, you know, people are panic buying everywhere, let's say like you go ahead and you just stop and like you notice like a kid doing something funny and that kind of changes the pace of your day, right? It makes something hectic and frantic to something more joyful and it kind of uplifts your mood and it will inspire you in a way. <coughs> Ooh, sorry guys, I feel like I'm kind of, not only am I ingesting all this incense here, but I kind of feel a weird aching around my heart chakra area as well. So some of you guys, I feel I need to do a lot of heart healing, okay? Something that maybe you've heard some hurtful words or you've seen and um, some hurtful things are done or any of those hurtful things to you and, and you're kind of hurting emotionally at this time for some of you because I do see green here which will take a lot of work to heal just acknowledging your emotions and knowing you know what the right thing to do is is one step into going into your healing heart process okay this is for some of you I'm not sure if some of you guys had to end relationships as well but like yeah my chest area is just getting sore there so I'm just just telling you how, what I'm feeling and she also has green. So perhaps when there's some kind of physical abundance and success, it might mean losing some people as well. Some people will just fall away. And maybe some of you guys, your heart is healing. So take what message resonates. This message may not resonate for every single one of you. But yes, this is all about making sure you don't miss the details. And... Um, there can be beauty and wonder and magic in the little details in life. Do not forget those little things. Like, for example, like, I don't know if you have a kid or like, you know, a partner and they make you a sandwich in the shape of a heart or something like that. Taking the time to notice those things. It's really about the little moments in life and noticing the little field mice, which are like the little cute moments in life. That's really going to make it worth living. And it's going to help you if you're undergoing some kind of stress. Alright, pile number ones, I hope you like that. I'm going to have to re like link the video from the, from the other one that I did. But I'm going to move on to pile number two. And you take care of yourself always. And namaste, okay? Thank you. I'm just going to get this out of the way. I'm just trying to remember these messages before forget <clears throat> okay so thank you pal number one